Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about 50 multiple choice questions and these questions are as per the latest syllabus. So uh, please watch the video till the very end and do share with all your friends as well. One request that you need to watch it with subtitle because sometimes there are certain points that I highlight through subtitle as well and uh, before you proceed to watch the video uh, do share like and subscribe so let's uh, start uh, first of all uh, what is the rank of this matrix that is given here this is a matrix of size uh, you know 3 cross 4 so one thing is uh, very much clear that if the matrix is of size 3 cross 4 means it has 3 rows and it has 4 columns so it rank can't be greater than I mean uh, you know greater than 3 means it rank will be less than or equal to 3 that is the property of the rank of the matrix I hope you remember that rank of a matrix A is less than or equal to the minimum of the number of rows and the number of columns so here the minimum of number of rows and column is 3 so the rank can't be greater than 3 so certainly this can't be the rank right but uh, it is a 3 cross 4 matrix so to find the rank uh, it is better to reduce the matrix into equivalent form so how to reduce the matrix into equivalent form first we perform the operation we want to make this 2 0 and we want to make this 3 0 so I will replace the row 2 by R2 minus 2 times R1 and I will replace the row 3 by R3 uh, by R3 minus 3 times R1 so I will get what I will get 1 3 5 1 and this will become 0 this will become 0 4 minus 3 into 2 6 so 4 minus 6 is minus 2 8 minus 5 into 10 uh, 5 into 2 10 so 8 minus 10 is also minus 2 and 0 minus 2 is also minus 2 and if you look at the third row 1 minus uh, 3 into 3 9 that is minus 8 7 minus 3 into 5 15 that is minus 8 and 5 minus 3 into 1 is equal to 2 now I think you are smart enough to uh, see that uh, the rank is 3 even though it is not in equal form uh, but just in case if you want to reduce it to the equal form you can perform the operation that R3 goes to R3 minus uh, you know uh, 4 times R2 so it will become what it will become 1 3 5 1 and 0 minus 2 minus 2 and minus 2 and if you multiply this by minus 4 it will all become 8 right so minus 8 and plus 8 will become 0 this will become 0 and here it is 8 plus 2 so it will become 10 right so you can clearly uh, see that rank of this matrix is equal to 3 because it has 3 non zero row if we are solving the multiple choice question then we don't have to uh, you know perform this step it is very clear from this that the third row uh, you know will uh, not become uh, a zero row right so let's move to the next question so what is the correct option I hope you have uh, realized that the correct option here is uh, what is the correct option the rank is 3 so the C option is correct next what is the rank of this matrix so this matrix is also of size 3 cross 4 so if I have to calculate the rank usually if the matrix is of size uh, you know 3 cross 3 then we go by the determinant method otherwise we go by the uh, you know uh, uh, row reduced equivalent form method so uh, to find the rank of this uh, for our convenience what we can do we can do the row exchange we can write the third row as the first row so I can write 2 1 0 1 because it will make the computation easier uh, 6 3 uh, 4 7 and then uh, 4 2 1 3 I hope you uh, got what I did I did uh, I replaced the first and the third row now I have to make this 0 I have to make this 0 so what operation I will perform I will perform R2 goes to R2 minus uh, 3 times R1 and uh, R3 goes to R3 minus uh, 2 times R1 so if I perform that operation I will get 2 1 0 1 first row will remain unchanged and 6 minus uh, this will become what 0 uh, 6 minus 6 3 minus 3 will become 0 4 minus 0 will remain 4 
and 7 minus 3 it will become 4 and if you look at this 2 minus uh, 2 into 2 4 will become 0 2 minus 2 will become 0 1 minus 0 will remain 1 and 3 minus 2 will become 1 now you can clearly see that this can be made 0 if I replace R3 by R3 minus uh, 1 by 4 times R2 so if you do that you will get 2 1 0 1 0 0 4 4 and then 0 0 0 0 so the it has two non zero row so the rank of this matrix is 2 when you are solving the multiple choice question uh, there was no need to perform this operation that you can clearly see that the third row and second row are just the multiple of each other okay next question this is an interesting question and I am going to solve it in two ways first is that for what value of lambda the given set of equation has a unique solution so one thing that you can clearly see that uh, this equation 2x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 9 and if you look at the third equation 2x plus 3y plus lambda z is equal to 9 so if I take uh, you know this lambda is equal to 5 these two equations will become same and in that case it will not have a unique solution right but uh, what is the uh, you know regular process or a standard process that this is a uh, 3 cross 3 system right so for this to have a unique solution if I look at the coefficient matrix what is the coefficient matrix that is 2 3 uh, 5 uh, 7 3 minus 2 and 2 3 and lambda so for this system of equation to have a unique solution if I call the coefficient matrix as A determinant of A should not be equal to 0 so if I evaluate the determinant of this matrix what it will be uh, determinant of A is equal to 2 into uh, 3 lambda uh, plus 6 and then uh, minus 3 into uh, 7 lambda and then uh, plus 4 and uh, my, uh, sorry plus 5 into 7 into 3 that is 21 and 3 into 2 that is minus 6 uh, so this value will be equal to how much uh, 3 into 2 so 6 lambda and plus 12 and it is minus 21 lambda and minus 12 and how much is this this is 5 and 21 minus 6 that is 15 15 into 5 is plus 75 right so uh, basically this value is equal to uh, minus 21 lambda and uh, plus 6 lambda so that is minus 15 lambda and this 12 and this minus 12 is cancelled so plus 75 so for the system to have unique solution determinant of a should not be equal to 0 so it means what that minus 15 lambda and plus 75 should not be equal to 0 so this implies that lambda should not be equal to 5 so the question is that for what value of lambda this will have a unique solution so it will it will have a unique solution for all values of lambda except when lambda is uh, equal to 5 so lambda should not be equal to 5 so what is the correct option the correct option is D because this will have a unique solution for all values except lambda is equal to 5 I hope uh, these three questions there are no doubt okay so let us move to the next question so if you look at this question what are the eigenvalues of the matrix A right so there is a property that we have studied uh, that sum of eigenvalues uh, sum of eigenvalues is equal to uh, the trace of the matrix trace of matrix trace, trace of a matrix right it means I'm talking about uh, no a square matrix see in case if you uh, are new to the channel and watching this video for the first time and you have uh, the concept related doubt then you should watch the regular videos I have created separate playlist right so that will help you to understand this video better but anyway uh, this is the concept sum of eigenvalues is equal to the trace of matrix so here the trace of matrix is 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5 so if you look at this option uh, this will also give you 5 this will also give you 5 2 plus 3 5 1 plus 4 5 0 plus 5 uh, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 so this option can't be correct but these three options I am still uh, not decided but we know ad another property that product of eigenvalues what is the product of eigenvalues product of eigenvalues is equal to 
the determinant of the matrix if I call this matrix A then determinant of A so what is the determinant of A here if you calculate 1 into 4 so 1 into 4 is 4 and minus minus 2 into minus 2 that is 4 so is equal to 0 so when the product of the eigenvalues will be 0 when one of the eigenvalues is, is 0 so the correct option is C uh, see when I will be solving the question in MCQ I will not be writing these details because this is something that I am writing for you to understand okay next question what are the eigenvalues of this so this was earlier question was a 2 cross 2 matrix now this is a 3 cross 3 matrix so again the same thing that the sum of the eigenvalues is how much 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is equal to sum of the eigenvalues should be equal to the trace of the matrix that should be equal to 9 so you see this option also will give you 9 this will also give you 9 this will also give you 9 this will not give you 9 so this option is removed now the next property is the determinant of A. So what is determinant of A if I calculate 3 into uh, 3 into 3 9 minus 1 and then plus 1 because minus minus will become plus minus 1 into 3 so that is equal to minus 3 and then minus 1 and then minus 1 into uh, this will be 1 and uh, plus 3. So how much I will get? I will get 3 into 8 that is 24 minus 4 and minus 1 plus 3 is 4 so it will be minus 4 so what I get I get 16 so if you look at this uh, option A 1 into 4 into 4 will be 16 and 1 plus 4 plus 4 will be equal to 9 so both the properties are satisfied I repeat it what are the properties that we are following the first property is that the sum of the eigenvalues should be equal to the trace by trace I mean the sum of the diagonal element uh, the trace is a term is uh, which is used for uh, the uh, sum of the diagonal elements of a matrix okay so uh, these two properties we are using uh, now uh, moving ahead to the next problem let us solve this now the next question is what are the eigenvectors of the matrix so matrix is given to be uh, this 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so to find the eigenvector first of all we have to find the eigenvalues but to find the eigenvalues we have to find the characteristic equation so for a 2 cross 2 matrix what is the formula for characteristic equation lambda square minus trace of uh, the matrix A times lambda and plus uh, determinant of A is equal to 0 right so if you look at this matrix uh, what is the trace of the matrix lambda square minus trace will be 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 lambda and what is determinant so determinant is 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 so this will be equal to 0 because determinant of this matrix is 0 you can see 1 into 1 is 1 and minus minus 1 into minus 1 is also 1 so that is equal to 0 so this is the characteristic equation so if I solve this I can take lambda common so I will get lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 so the uh, answer is that lambda is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 2 if they ask this question that what are the eigenvalues then the eigenvalues will be 0 and 2 and you can see this property that 0 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 that is the trace of the matrix and product that is 2 into 0 is equal to 0 which is the determinant of the matrix now to get uh, the eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 0 I have to subtract 0 from the main diagonal so I will get 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 and minus 1 because we, we write this system a minus lambda i x is equal to 0 right so this will implies what I am subtracting 0 from the main diagonal a minus lambda i means you have to subtract 0 from the main diagonal so it will remain the same matrix minus 1 and 1 and then x y right in case if you are in doubt you should watch the eigenvalue and eigenvector matrix so you can see clearly that uh, this uh, can be made 0 if I add r1 and r2 so I will get 1 minus 1 0 0 and x y is equal to 0 right so the system that I will get from this is uh, x minus y is equal to 0 so x minus y is equal to 0 so if I take y is equal to 1 right then I will get x is equal to 1 so 1 comma 1 will be one of the uh, eigenvector and you can see that 1 comma 1 option is just present in the C option so this would be the correct option but uh, still I am trying to find the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 2 so for lambda is equal to 2 what we have to do we have to uh, subtract 2 from the main diagonal so if I subtract 2 from the main diagonal 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 and this will be minus 1 and minus 1 and 1 minus 2 is again minus 1 
so you see that we are getting uh, what we are getting the same two rows so if i write the corresponding uh, system i will get minus x minus y is equal to zero so this is nothing but x plus y is equal to zero right so if i take y is equal to um, um, uh, one then i will get x is equal to minus one so i will get the eigenvector that is minus one or one which can also be considered to be one and minus one i hope you remember that any multiple any if i multiplied by any constant that will also be an eigenvector or you could have also uh, uh, done like this that if i take x is equal to one then y will be equal to minus one so the eigenvector will be one comma minus one so the correct option will be c right i hope up to this there is no doubt now uh, if you look at this question what are the eigenvalues of this matrix a so eigenvalues of this matrix say again the same property what is the trace of this matrix trace of this matrix is 0 plus 0 uh, plus 1 is equal to 1 and if you see that in all the cases the sum of the eigenvalues all the four option is equal to 1 so uh, that is not sufficient so the next thing that we have to find is the uh, product so product is I got uh, if, if this matrix is a so if I calculate the data determinant of a what it will be so to calculate the determinant of a I can expand it about the second row so plus minus so this will become minus minus one plus one and this row is gone this column is gone minus one minus one so I will get minus one minus one that is equal to minus two so the determinant is equal to minus 2 means product of the eigenvalue should be equal to minus 2 this product will give me 0 this product will give me minus 4 this will give me minus i s square so that will be 1 but this will give me minus 2 so the correct option is a okay <coughs> sorry next question what is the value of x and y if a is equal to this and the eigenvalues of a are 4 and 8 so again the same property sum of the eigenvalues that is equal to the trace of the matrix so 10 plus x is equal to 4 plus 8 that is equal to 12 so this means what this means that x is equal to uh, 2 and the second property is that determinant so how do you calculate the determinant 10 into x plus 4 into y and that should be equal to the product of eigenvalues so 4 into 8 that is equal to 32 so it means what that from this I get 4y is equal to 32 minus 10x so 10 into 2 so that it is equal to 12 so what we get we get y is equal to 3 so x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so this is the correct option next what are the values of x and y if a is equal to this and the eigenvalues of a are 3 4 and 1 right one thing which is very much clear that this is a lower triangular matrix and this is one of the properties of the eigenvalues that for a lower triangular matrix the diagonal element so what are the diagonal elements here the diagonal elements are 3 x and y and this will be the uh, you know what uh, eigenvalues of the matrix so eigenvalues of the matrix are given to be 3 4 and 1 so it means that x should be equal to what x should be equal to 4 and y should be equal to 1 so the correct option is x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1 this is uh, a property that for any lower triangular matrix and or for an upper triangular matrix uh, the diagonal elements are its eigenvalues so here you can see that eigenvalues are 3 x and y right okay so we already have done 10 question or 9 question I guess and now let us move to the 10th question so uh, if you look at this question uh, how to uh, solve this question so consider the system of equation uh, system of simultaneous equation and the system has so to solve that uh, what kind of solution it has we have to first write the augmented matrix so what will be the augmented matrix or Augment augmented matrix will be 1 uh, 2 1 and 6 and then it will be like 2 1 2 and 6 and then it will be like 1 1 1 and 5 now I have to reduce this matrix into uh, a row reduced equivalent form so that we can compare so to reduce this matrix into row reduced equivalent form I can replace R2 by R2 minus 2 times R1 and we can replace R3 by R3 minus R1 right again I repeat 
to know the details you need to watch the previous videos in the matrix series so 1 2 1 6 and if I uh, you know uh, subtract 2 times so this will become 0 this will also become 0 1 minus 2 into 2 4 that will give me minus 3 2 minus 2 that will give me 0 and 6 minus uh, you know 12 so that will give me minus 6 and this will give me minus 1 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and this will give me 5 and uh, minus 6 that is also equal to minus 1 right now what we can do next we have to uh, make this also 0 so that it becomes uh, equivalent form so to make this 0 I can uh, I mean, and one more thing you can do just to separate the coefficient matrix and the right hand side uh, I am putting this line because 665 is the right hand side so this matrix uh, uh, first three uh, columns are the part of the coefficient matrix and this whole thing is known as the augmented matrix so to make this 0 uh, I will replace R3 by R3 minus 1 by 3 times R2 so if I do that I will get 1 2 1 6 and 0 minus 3 0 minus 6 and this will become 0 0 0 and here I am multiplying it by minus 1 by 3 so it will become plus 2 minus 1 and plus 2 uh, will be equal to how much minus 1 and plus 2 will be equal to 1 so you can clearly see that the rank of this matrix the rank of A if I call this matrix A and the whole the total as the augmented matrix a b so you can see that rank of coefficient matrix is equal to 2 rank of augmented matrix that is r dash is equal to 3 so it will have no solution right so the correct option will be no because r is not equal to r dash okay uh, for the matrix next question uh, one of the eigenvalues is minus 2 then which of the following is an eigenvector so you know that they already have given me so how to uh, solve this uh, to solve this we write the system that is a minus lambda i x is equal to 0 the eigenvalue is minus 2 so it, it will be, it will become a plus uh, 2 i x is equal to 0 so it means that I have to add 2 to the main diagonal so this will become 5 minus 2 and 2 this will become 0 0 and 1 and this will become 0 0 and 3 right I hope uh, you remember know the process that uh, how the eigenvectors are calculated okay now if you look at this system it is uh, very much clear that uh, we have two equation the first equation is 5x minus 2y plus 2z is equal to 0 and this will give me uh, z is equal to 0 if I reduce in equivalent form this row will become 0 so I just write uh, z is equal to 0 right so if z is equal to 0 uh, this first equation will give me what 5x minus 2y is equal to 0 so if I take y is equal to 1 if I take y is equal to 1 then I will get x is equal to uh, 2 by 5 so I will get the eigenvector that is 2 by 5 y is 1 and z is equal to 0 but this form is not there so I can do one thing I can multiply the whole thing by 5 so I will get uh, 2 5 and 0 because uh, this is a multiple of this eigenvector so this will also be in an eigenvector so the correct option will be 2 5 and 0 means the correct option will be D okay so this is a very easy problem uh, the eigenvalues of the matrix S are 5 and 1 so what are the eigenvalues of the matrix S square that is S into S so we know that if uh, there is a matrix A and its eigenvalues are suppose lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 or means if it is a 3 cross 3 or any any number of eigenvalues are there depending upon the size of the matrix then eigenvalues of A square will be nothing but lambda 1 square lambda 2 square and up to lambda n square so eigenvalue of this will be like 5 and 1 so eigenvalue of a, uh, s square will be 5 square and 1 square so 5 square is 25 1 square is 1 so the correct option will be 1 and 25 very easy question you don't have to think much that just remember the property and you will be able to answer this kind of question I hope I am not uh, speaking too fast uh, because I am talking very simple problems 
and in case if you again repeat if you are missing the concept you need to watch the videos in order and uh, for your convenience I will put the playlist in the uh, description and please do subscribe so that you don't miss any video so uh, the next question is that value of k for which the system of equation has a non-trivial solution so you can see that this is a homogeneous system of equation right and for any homogeneous system of equation to have a non-trivial solution determinant of a should be equal to zero so what is the coefficient matrix so the coefficient matrix uh, determinant will be one you can see one minus k and one so i write one minus k and one and then k and uh, 3 and then minus k and then the last will be like 3 1 and minus 1 so if I evaluate this to be 0 what it will be I have to expand it about the first row so I will get uh, minus 3 plus k and then plus k this will give me uh, minus k and uh, plus 3k and then plus 1 and uh, it will be uh, giving me k minus 9 so that is equal to 0 okay so if I uh, simplify this let me continue from here so I will get minus 3 plus k and 2k uh, into k will give me 2k square uh, plus k minus 9 is equal to 0 so this will give me 2k square uh, plus 2k and 9 minus 3 and minus 9 is minus 12 is equal to 0 so 2 can be taken common and so it will become k squared plus k minus 6 is equal to 0 which I can factorize so I can write k squared plus 3k minus 2k minus 6 is equal to 0 so this will give me what k common k plus 3 and here minus 2 common I will get k plus 3 is equal to 0 so I'm getting two values of k that is equal to minus 3 and 2 but minus 3 option is not present 2 option is present so the correct option will be A right uh, this is an easy question let A be a matrix then what is the rank of A so you can clearly see that matrix is the first row is 1 1 1 second row is 3 3 3 third row is 7 7 7 so it means that this will become 0 if I subtract 3 times the first row uh, and this will become 0 if I subtract 7 times the first row so there will uh, be only one non-zero row so the rank of this matrix will be equal to 1 you can also see it like that this is if I call this R1 the second row is nothing but 3 R1 and the third row is 7 R1 so the second and third row are just the multiple of first row so there is just one linearly independent row so the rank is equal to 1 okay a rank of a singular matrix of uh, I think yeah so rank of a singular matrix of order 4 can be at most so if the matrix is of order 4 and it is a singular matrix means determinant of a is equal to 0 so it rank will be certainly less than 4 so less than 4 can be at most what less than 4 can be at most 3 very easy question but uh, interesting one let a be a matrix of order 12 cross 20 then which of the following is not a possible rank and as I told you that rank of a matrix A is less than or equal to the minimum of M and N that is the concept I discussed earlier also so here minimum of N M and N is what it is minimum of uh, 12 and 20 so minimum of 12 and 20 is equal to 12 so rank must be less than or equal to 12 so 13 can't be the possible rank for what value of k the set of vectors is linearly dependent so the set of vectors is linearly dependent means if I calculate the determinant value which are formed by these vectors like k k k 0 k k and k 0 k if this determinant is equal to 0 then it is linearly dependent if it is not 0 it is linearly independent so how to calculate this determinant expand about the first column so k and then this will give me k square minus 0 so k square minus 0 minus 0 and then plus k so plus k uh, this gone this gone so k square minus k square so k square minus k square is equal to 0 so this is giving me k cube is equal to 0 so that is only possible when k is equal to 0 so the correct option will be this so you can see that the questions are very easy uh, if we know the concepts come to this question if a is equal to 3 2 4 5 be a matrix and its characteristic equation is this then the values of a and b 
so for a 2 cross 2 matrix the characteristic equation is given by lambda square minus trace of a times lambda plus determinant of a is equal to 0 ok <sighs> sorry so what is the trace of a so here it is uh, lambda square minus trace is 3 plus 5 so 3 plus 5 times lambda and determinant of a is 3 into 5 that is 15 minus 8 is equal to 0 so this will give me lambda square minus 8 lambda plus 7 is equal to 0 so if I compare it I will get a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 7 so which option will be correct this option will be correct next question uh, let a be a matrix then what are the eigenvalues of a cube you can clearly see that this is a lower triangular matrix so what are the eigenvalues of a eigenvalues of a are its diagonal element that is 1 3 and 7 so what are the eigenvalues of a cube so eigenvalues of a cube will be 1 cube 3 cube and 7 cube that is 1 27 and 343 so the correct option will be a Based on the properties of eigenvalue and eigenvector, we can solve many interesting problems and this is one of them. Okay. So we have like uh, solved around this is question number 20, so around 20 question in half an hour. So I am taking around 90 seconds to solve uh, each question. So that is a good timing. Uh, but I hope you are getting find the product of eigenvalues of this matrix. So the product of eigenvalues of the mis this matrix, I if I call it A. So the product of eigenvalues of this matrix will be equal to the determinant of A. How to calculate the determinant? Expand it. So 1, 5, minus 2 into 8, 16, then minus 0. So no need to write and then plus 3. I am expanding it about the first column. So 2 into 8, that is equal to 16 and minus 5 into 3, that is equal to 15. So what did I get? Uh, 5 minus uh, 11, 5 minus 16, that is equal to minus 11 and plus 3. So that I will get is minus 8. So which option will be correct? This option will be correct. Next. If uh, let A be a matrix and one of its eigenvalues is 1, then what is the corresponding eigenvector? So we have done one similar problem earlier also. So we uh, calculate A minus lambda i x and we solve this system. So here lambda is equal to 1. So we have to subtract 1 from the main diagonal. That will be like 0. Uh, 2 and 3 and then it will be 3 0 and 0 and this will give me minus 2 0 and 0 right and uh, we can reduce it to the equivalent form but since we are solving MCQ question I'm directly writing so the first is giving me the system that is 2y plus 3z is equal to 0 and uh, either the second row or third row this can be made 0 by using row operation but anyway so second row will give me 3x is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me x is equal to 0 and from this if I take z is equal to 1 I'm talking about this equation so if I take z is equal to 1 I will get y is equal to minus 3 by 2 so the eigenvector will be 0 minus 3 by 2 and 1 but no such option is there right but if I look at this option uh, you can clearly see that if I multiply this vector by minus 2 I will get 0 this will become 3 and this will become minus 2 so this is a multiple of this vector so the correct option will be a find the eigenvalues of a inverse now again using the properties of eigenvalues and eigenvector this is an upper triangular matrix so the eigenvalues of a are 2 1 and 4 so the eigenvalues of A inverse will be 1 by 2, 1 by 1 and 1 by 4. This is a property. So which option will be correct? This will be 1, 1 by 2 and 1 by 4. So this option will be correct. If A is a, uh, uh, if a, a square matrix A has characteristic polynomial, this is not a polynomial, this would be called an equation. So let me write it. it is, if it is a characteristic equation, then inverse of the matrix is given by. So the characteristic uh, equation is lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. So using the Cali Hamilton theorem, I can write A square minus 2A plus I is equal to 0 every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation that is the Cali Hamilton theorem now multiply both sides by a inverse so a inverse into a square minus 2a plus i is equal to a inverse into null matrix so in the left hand side a inverse into a square will give me a 
टू ए इन टू ए इन वर्स विल गिव मी टू आई एंड प्लस ए इन वर्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस विल गिव मी वाट दिस विल गिव मी ए इन वर्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस ए प्लस टू आई सो विच ऑप्शन विल बी करेक्ट माइनस ए प्लस टू आई सो द लास्ट ऑप्शन मीन्स द ऑप्शन नंबर डी विल बी करेक्ट सो यू कैन सी दैट द क्वेश्चन आर वेरी सिंपल एंड कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ट एंड आई होप यू आर इंजॉइंग इट ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ लैमडा वन लैमडा टू एंड लैमडा थ्री आर थ्री आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स देन टू टाइम्स लैमडा वन प्लस लैमडा टू प्लस लैमडा थ्री इज इक्वल टू सो अगेन द सेम प्रॉपर्टी सम ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यूज दैट इज लैमडा वन प्लस लैमडा टू प्लस लैमडा थ्री इज इक्वल टू द ट्रेस ट्रेस एड इज द सम ऑफ डाइगनल एलिमेंट दैट इज वन प्लस फाइव प्लस वन दैट इज इक्वल टू सेवन सो टू टाइम्स दिस विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्टीन सो दिस ऑप्शन विल बी करेक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट Uh, if uh, let a is uh, be a matrix then what is the value of a to the power 8 so uh, this seems like a problem from uh, cali hamilton theorem so first of all i will write the characteristic equation lambda square minus trace of a so trace is 4 minus 4 uh, that is equal to 0 times lambda and plus determinant so determinant here is uh, minus 16 and uh, plus 18 is equal to 0 so this gives me a uh, lambda square plus 2 is equal to 0 so using cali hamilton theorem i can write a square plus 2 times identity matrix is equal to null matrix so this will give me a square is equal to minus 2i so if you have to find a to the power 4 you have to multiply a square four time so it will be like minus 2i into minus 2i you can write it a square into a square into a square into a square so that will be equal to minus 2i uh, into minus 2i into minus 2i into minus 2i right so it will be like 16 and i multiplied any number of times will be i only so the correct option will be a uh let a be a square matrix of order 4 cross 4 and b is the transpose matrix of the matrix a if 1 minus 1 0 and 2 are the eigen values of the matrix a then the determinant of the matrix b is equal to so we know that if b uh, is the transpose of the matrix means b is nothing but a transpose so the b will also have the same eigen values that is 1 minus 1 0 and 2 we know this property that a matrix a and its transpose will have the same eigen values so if b also have the same eigen values means uh, what is the question what is the determinant of b so determinant of b is equal to the product of the eigen value so if you take the product of this you will get zero so the correct option will be equal to c uh the sum and product of the eigen values of the matrix again very easy 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 10 is the sum of the eigen values and product is 8 into 2 16 plus uh 8 so that is equal to 24 so i get the option that is 10 and 24 so very easy questions right we are doing so the system of simultaneous equation this uh, will have infinitely many solution for mu is equal to so if you look at this system and write the corresponding augmented matrix uh, what it will look like i am writing it directly so it will look like 1 2 3 5 uh, 1 1 4 2 uh, 3 10 and 2 2 8 mu right now uh, for this to have uh, infinitely many solution i think you are smart enough to see that if you look at this uh, second row here of this augmented matrix and if you look at the third row uh, the second row here is 1 here it is 2 1 2 4 8 so if it becomes 20 if mu becomes 20 then uh, actually the row number 3 will become two times the row number 2 so clearly if i take mu is equal to 20 this will have infinitely many solution because in that case uh, this uh, s- both uh, uh, augmented matrix and the coefficient matrix will become uh, will have the rank 2 so the correct option will be c i think this is a very uh, obvious thing in case if you want to reduce it to the row reduce tickland form and then compare that for infinitely many solution r should be equal to r dash but less than the number of variable so that we also you can do but it is very much clear here so we can make a guess that 1 1 4 10 2 2 8 uh, and so mu should be equal to 20 this is not a guess this is just an observation okay Uh, find the characteristic root of the matrix a 
so characteristic root or eigen values are the same thing so don't get confused with the name so uh, the trace of the matrix here is what is the trace of the matrix trace is 5 plus 5 plus 2 that is equal to 12 so you can clearly see that only one option here will add to 12 so the correct option will be a because rest of the option will not add to 12 the rank of the matrix is equal to 2 uh, uh, the rank of this matrix is 2 for mu equal to means we have to find that value of mu for which the rank of this matrix is equal to uh, you know 2 so uh, how to uh, solve this kind of question so for this matrix to have a rank 2 the determinant value of this matrix would be equal to 0 so if I calculate the determinant if I call this matrix A then determinant of A is how how, how do you calculate expand it about uh, any row or column so uh, suppose I expand it about the first column so I will get mu and then mu square right and minus 0 right and then minus 0 and then minus 1 and this will give me what uh, minus minus plus 1 and minus 0 and that should be equal to 0 so this will give me uh, mu cube minus 1 is equal to 0 so clearly uh, mu should be equal to 1 right so the correct option will be uh, equal to uh, the option number 3 okay now uh, let us move to the next question uh, same question but uh, here we have a 4 cross 4 matrix so don't get intimidated by this 4 cross 4 matrix it will not take me much time to solve this question also so uh, for what value of mu the rank of this matrix is equal to 3 so for this matrix to have rank 3 the determinant of this matrix should be equal to 0 so how to evaluate the determinant uh, I can expand it about uh, any row and expanding it about any row or column is not a difficult task because we can see that we already have two zeros so I'm expanding it about the first row so I will get mu and uh, let me write it for your convenience so mu uh, minus 1 and 0 I hope you know how to expand this column will be left out this row will be left out so mu minus 1 and 0 and then 0 mu and minus 1 so I will write 0 mu and minus 1 then I will write 11 minus 6 and 1 and then minus minus plus 1 and uh, I will label this column and this row so I will get 0 0 minus 6 uh, minus 1 uh, mu and 6 and then 0 minus 1 and 1 so uh, this should be equal to 0 right now uh, if I have to expand this uh, um, you know determinant again I expand it about the first row so mu and uh, this will give me uh, mu minus 6 and then this will become plus 1 and uh, this row gone this column gone 0 into 1 is 0 and plus 11 so I will get 0 plus 11 okay and then plus 1 and here you, you can clearly see that we have two zeros so I can expand it about the first column so 0 0 and minus 6 so plus minus plus so it will be like minus six times this row gone this column gone so I will get what I will get one and minus zero that is equal to zero so I will get uh, mu into uh, mu square minus six mu uh, plus eleven and from this I will get uh, minus six is equal to zero so I will get a mu cube minus six mu square plus 11 mu minus 6 is equal to 0 so to solve this this is a cubic equation so I can try uh, hit and trial so if I take mu is equal to 1 I will get 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 it will become 0 so mu is equal to 1 is a root and so at mu is equal to 1 the determinant of a will become 0 so we can uh, see that this option 1 is present so for mu is equal to 1 uh, the since determinant of this matrix is equal to 0 so its rank will be equal to 3 okay uh, see there uh, there is another thing uh, that uh, some of you might be thinking that we have not verified all the 3 cross 3 order determinants so how can we conclude that its rank will be 3 uh, because we are not sure that those 3 cross 3 determinant will become 0 or not but since this is a multiple choice question and uh, you are getting mu value is equal to 1 for which uh, the uh, uh, determinant of a is becoming 0 so we can conclude that yeah uh, keeping the MCQ concept in mind 
now look at this question the rank of the matrix so you can clearly see that this matrix is in row reduced equal form so it has one non zero row two non zero row three non zero row four non zero row so rank of this matrix will be equal to four we this is kind of observation based problem not much to discuss the system of equation uh, has so if you uh, write uh, quickly the augmented matrix 1 minus 1 1 and then uh, minus lambda here it will give me 1 1 1 and lambda and here it will give me minus 1 1 and minus 1 and lambda right so how to uh, find the uh, answer you can clearly see I think if you are smart enough you can clearly see that if I multiply uh, minus 1 here I will get this but any anyway I'm going to solve it by the regular process to reduce it to the equivalent form I can write R2 goes to R2 minus R1 and I can write R3 goes to R3 plus R1 so I will get what I will get 1 minus 1 1 and minus lambda I will get uh, 0 uh, 2 0 and 2 lambda and if I add this I will get 0 0 0 and 0 so clearly we have rank of this matrix uh, coefficient matrix is 2 rank of the augmented matrix is also 2 and number of variables where so R is equal to R dash is le less than n so this system of equation will have uh, infinitely many solutions right now this question is interesting till now uh, uh, how much time we have already completed in this video around 46 minutes and how many questions we already have solved we already have solved uh, 33 34 questions so let me take a pause and then start this so this one is a very interesting problem and kind of competitive level problem also so let a uh, let a 4 cross 4 matrix a have the eigenvalues 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 find the eigenvalues of the determine find the value of the determinant of this matrix so to find the value of the determinant of the matrix if I can find the eigenvalues of B if I can find the eigenvalues of B uh, we can take the product of the eigenvalues of B and then we can find the determinant of B yes or no so how to do that so there is a very basic concept here that if eigenvalues of A suppose is lambda then eigenvalues of 2a plus a inverse minus identity matrix will be equal to what it will be equal to 2 lambda plus 1 by lambda that is uh, lambda a inverse will have eigenvalue 1 by lambda and minus identity matrix will have the eigenvalue 1 so this will be the eigenvalue if a has the eigenvalue lambda then eigenvalues of this will be 2 by 2 into lambda plus lambda inverse minus 1 because of the identity matrix so here the eigenvalues are like 1 so corresponding to 1 the eigenvalues of this B will be 2 into 1 plus 1 by 1 minus 1 so this is how much this will be like 2 corresponding to eigenvalue minus 1 the eigenvalue will be 2 into minus 1 uh, plus 1 by minus 1 and minus 1 so this will be minus 4 corresponding to eigenvalue 2 the eigenvalues will be uh, 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 by 2 so 7 by 2 and corresponding to the eigenvalue minus 2 I will get uh, 2 into minus 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 so uh, how much is that uh, this will be like uh, uh, minus 4 minus 5 and minus 1 so 1 by 2 so minus 5 minus 1 by 2 is minus 11 by 2 so these are the eigenvalues of B so what is the determinant of B determinant of B is the product of eigenvalue that is 2 into minus 4 into 7 by 2 into minus 11 by 2 so this minus and minus will become plus and this 4 and this 2 and this 2 will cancel so 7 into 2 is 14 and uh, this minus minus already has become plus so 14 into 11 so 140 plus 14 so 154 so the correct option will be B so this is a good question uh, if lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 are the eigenvalues of this matrix then lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 is equal to uh, it's kind of a repeat so minus 2 minus 10 plus 14 trace of the matrix so that is equal to 2 so it is the like answer is this 
I have not spent much time because we already have done two three such problems this is again uh, an interesting question uh, if you look at this this is also a good question the matrix A is given and the eigenvalues of this are so if you look at this matrix A this is a lower triangular matrix so the eigenvalues of A are 1 and 4 I hope you realize this that this is a lower triangular matrix and the eigenvalues of this will be the diagonal element that is 1 and 4 so what will be the eigenvalue of 4A inverse plus 3A plus 2I so corresponding to 1 the eigenvalue will be 4 into 1 by 1 4 a inverse plus 3 into 1 plus 2 so that is equal to 3 plus 2 5 plus 4 uh, uh, is equal to 9 and corresponding to the eigenvalue 4 it will have what it will have 4 into 1 by 4 a inverse plus 3 into 4 plus 2 i that is equal to 2 so I will get 1 plus 3 into 4 12 plus 2 so 1 plus 12 plus 2 so how much that is equal to 15 so the correct answer will be 3 third again a very easy question if A is a, uh, a square matrix and has eigenvalue lambda then eigenvalue of the matrix K into A transpose we know the property that K into A transpose is nothing but K into A transpose and A transpose will have the same eigenvalues as A so the eigenvalue in case of K into A transpose will be K lambda so the correct option will be third a 3 cross 3 real matrix has uh, has an eigenvalue i then its other two eigenvalues can be if one eigenvalue is i then another eigenvalue must be minus i because eigenvalues are what eigenvalues are the roots of the characteristic equation and imaginary roots or complex root always come in pair so if i is one of the root then minus i must also be its root and you can clearly see from the option that in only one option we have minus i so this option will become correct if the matrix a has uh, this is the matrix a then what are the eigenvalues of a q plus 5 a plus 8 i now if you look at this matrix a it is an upper triangular matrix and its eigenvalues will be minus 1 uh, 3 and uh, minus 2 so what will be the eigenvalues corresponding to minus 1 uh, for this matrix it will be like minus 1 cube plus 5 into minus 1 plus 8 so how much is that it is minus 1 minus 5 plus 8 so 8 minus 6 that is equal to 2 corresponding to 3 it will be 3 cube plus uh, 5 into 3 plus 8 so how much is that uh, 27 plus 15 plus 8 that is equal to 50 uh, so these two options are already removed but uh, you can see we have to do the third also because uh, first two options are matching so minus 2 I have to write minus 2 cube plus 5 into minus 2 plus 8 so that is equal to minus 8 minus 10 and plus 8 that is equal to minus 10 so the correct option will be third option that is uh, 2 50 and minus 10 I hope uh, up to this the things are absolutely clear the product of the eigenvalues of this matrix is equal to the determinant of a kind of repeat question so if I expand it I will get 1 into 3 into 3 9 minus 1 that is equal to 1 into 8 8 so this option is correct this is a good question can you guess what is the correct option the rank of the diagonal matrix so you see uh, all other elements except the diagonal element are zero so if I have to reduce it to the row reduced equivalent form uh, you can clearly see that it will have one uh, two and three non zero row so rank of this diagonal matrix will be equal to three so the correct option will be this uh, now look at this problem the rank of the matrix so you can clearly see that uh, the first row is 1 2 5 6 second row is 2 4 10 12 third row is minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 so if this is the row 1 this is 2 times row 1 and this is minus row 1 so only one row is linearly independent this can be made 0 this can be made 0 so the rank of this matrix is 1 and the last row is already 0 so no need to think about that okay so if uh, if you look at this uh, homogeneous system 
this system if equation is inconsistent this can't be the correct option because homogeneous systems are always consistent because it has at least a uh, you know trivial solution so uh, the question it it has only a trivial solution so you you know what is the property uh, if the coefficient matrix uh, determinant is equal to zero uh, then it will have a, a non trivial solution and if the determinant of the coefficient matrix is not equal to zero then it will only have the trivial solution so can we calculate the determinant of the coefficient matrix that is 3 2 and 1 1 4 and 1 and then uh, 2 1 and 4 so if I calculate this determinant it will be like 3 4 into 4 16 minus 1 uh, minus 2 it is 4 minus 2 and then plus 1 and this is 1 minus 8 so how much I will get I will get 3 into 15 that is 45 uh, minus 4 and 1 minus uh, 7 that is minus 7 so clearly this is not equal to 0 I am not interested in the value but rather whether it is equal to 0 or not equal to 0 so since the determinant of A is not equal to 0 it has only a trivial solution so this uh, option will become correct see the inverse of this matrix ideally they would uh, expect us to either use the Cali Hamilton theorem or Gauss Jordan method but uh, we know that uh, if I have to find the determinant of a 2 cross 2 matrix we uh, we because we are solving the MCQ question uh, you know how what is the uh, process you just change the diagonal element so you write the diagonal element like D and A and you uh, make the other diagonal element minus so minus C and minus B and then you write 1 by AD minus BC so if I have to calculate the inverse of this I will write the determinant so determinant is 4 plus uh, you know how much 4 plus 21 that is 25 and then we exchange the diagonal element that is uh, 1 and 4 and then we put minus 3 and here 7 so which option will batch 1 minus 3 7 and 4 so this option will batch so this is just a direct way of calculating uh, now consider this matrix the matrix A satisfies this equation where C and D are scalars and I is the identity matrix then C plus D is equal to whenever we uh, come across this kind of expression we should think in terms of uh, writing the uh, characteristic equation and using the Cali Hamilton theorem so can we write the characteristic equation for a uh, 3 cross 3 matrix how do you write the characteristic equation lambda cube I am writing for your uh, remembrance uh, but you can write directly in the exam so lambda cube minus trace of the matrix A times lambda square plus sum of the minors along the diagonal that is m11 plus m22 plus m33 uh, times lambda and minus determinant of A is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me lambda q what is the trace 1 plus 4 plus 1 so 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6 lambda square what is the minor of 1 so 4 minor of 1 means this row will be gone this column will be gone so 4 into 1 is 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 then what is the minor of 4 so this row gone this column gone so 1 minus 0 so that will be equal to plus 1 and minor of this element 1 is this row gone this column gone so 4 minus 0 is equal to plus 4 times lambda and how to calculate the determinant we can expand it about the first row so uh, 1 4 and plus 2 6 so I will get 6 right so that is equal to 0 so uh, it is basically uh, lambda cube uh, this is lambda square sorry so minus 6 lambda square uh, plus 11 lambda minus 6 is equal to 0 using Cali Hamilton theorem we can write a cube minus 6 a square uh, plus 11 a minus 6 i is equal to null matrix now what we can do we can multiply by a inverse in both sides so I will get a inverse uh, if I multiply it will become a square a inverse into a cube so it will become a square minus 6 a uh, plus 11 i uh, minus 6 a inverse is equal to 0 because i into a inverse will be a inverse so this will give me what this will give me 6 a inverse is equal to uh, a square minus 6 a uh, plus 11 i so if I compare this and this 
we can clearly see that C will be equal to minus 6 and uh, D will be equal to 11. So what will be C plus D? C plus D will be minus 6 plus 11 that is equal to 5. So the correct option will be A. Okay. Again, you can uh, answer this using Cayley-Hamilton theorem because you can see that it looks like uh, using the uh, Cayley-Hamilton theorem they have written it. So to write the answer, first of all, we have to write the characteristic polynomial. So lambda cube, now I am not writing the detail, minus trace. So trace is 1 plus 3. So that is equal to 4 lambda square. And if you are smart enough, you can clearly see that uh, that second option is matching because it will be like a cube minus 4a square. So I can clearly tick the second option. But just for your uh, you know confidence, I am writing the whole uh, system. So next we have to calculate the uh, trace, uh, sorry, uh, minors along the main diagonal. So what is the minor of element 1? So this row gone, this column gone. So 0 into 3, 0 and plus 2. So I will get 2. Uh, what is the minor of the element 0? So this row gone, this column gone. So 1 into 3, 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So that is plus 1. And what is the minor of this 3 uh, element, this 3? So this row gone, this column gone, 1 into 0 is 0 and 2 into 3 is 6. So minus 6 uh, lambda. And then we have to write the determinant of it. So what is the determinant? Uh, determinant will be uh, minus uh, lambda q minus 4 lambda square plus and then minus determinant of a so uh, if i expand it to 1 and uh, 0 plus 2 so i will get 1 into 2 and then minus 3 and uh, 2 into 3 6 plus 1 so that is equal to 7 and uh, then plus 2 and 2 into 2 4 minus 0 so that is equal to 4 so this will be equal to 0 so I will get what I will get lambda cube minus 4 lambda square and minus 3 lambda and uh, how much is that 2 and uh, 8 plus 2 10 so 2 plus uh, uh, 2 plus 8 is 10 and 10 minus 21 is minus 11 and minus is already there so it will become plus 11 is equal to 0 so using Cayley Hamilton theorem I can write a cube minus 4 a square minus 3a plus 11i is equal to 0. So as I told you earlier also that this will be the correct option because uh, the first two terms are matching only with the uh, option B. Okay. So video is already more than one hour uh, and I'm also very tired but uh, since I promised to solve 50 questions I will complete and then I will end the video. So let us solve uh, there are four more problems in this. So let us solve this. If a is equal to this, then a minus 2i into a minus 3i. So again, it looks like that we can apply the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So it is a 2 cross 2 matrix. So the characteristic equation is lambda square minus trace. So what is trace? 1 plus 5, 4 plus, uh, sorry, 4 plus 1, that is 5. So 4 plus 1 times lambda and uh, plus determinant. So determinant is 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, that is equal to 0. So we are getting uh, lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0. And which uh, using Cayley Hamilton theorem I can write a square minus 5a uh, plus 6i is equal to 0. So basically uh, this uh, can be factorized and it can be written as a minus 2i into a minus 3i. I think you are smart enough to see that this is equal to null matrix because if you multiply a into a we'll get a square and 2i into a will give you 2a and a into 3i will give you 3a so it will become minus 5a and minus minus plus you will get 6i so a minus 2i into a minus 3i will be equal to a null matrix that is equal to the 0 so the correct option will be 3 if a, a square matrix A is real and symmetric, then the eigenvalues are, and this is a uh, memory burst question. In case you want to uh, write the proof, you can check the book, but uh, you just can remember this, that if A is a real and symmetric matrix, then the eigenvalues of A are always real. So just uh, remember this. this. This will act like a memory based question. For what values of alpha and beta, the following simultaneous equation have infinite number of solutions. So uh, what is the uh, augmented matrix? 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 3, 9, 1, 2, alpha, beta. 
so this is the augmented matrix and uh, to decide the infinite number of solution what is the requirement that the uh, r should be equal to r dash but should be less than n so i'm reducing it to the equivalent form and to reduce this to equivalent form i will replace r2 by r2 minus r1 and r3 also by r3 minus r1 so this system will become uh, 1 1 1 5 uh, 0 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 9 minus 5 is 4 this will become 0 2 minus 1 is 1 it will become alpha minus 1 and it will become beta minus 5 right gentlemen and ladies as well now I have to make this 0 uh, this element 0 so to make this 0 I have to reduce uh, r3 by r3 minus 1 by 2 times r2 right so uh, 1 1 1 5 0 2 2 4 and if I multiply this by half this will become 1 so 0 0 and alpha minus 1 minus 1 so this will become alpha minus 2 and if I multiply this by half it will become 2 so beta minus 5 minus 2 will become beta minus 7 so for infinitely many uh, solution uh, the third row means the rank of this should be 2 and the rank of this should also be 2 so it will be 0 if I get uh, that means this row should be 0 row so for that alpha minus 2 should be equal to 0 and beta minus 7 should also be equal to 0 so this gives me what this gives me alpha should be equal to 2 and beta should be equal to 7 so which option will be correct uh, the value of alpha and beta so 2 and 7 because they are first writing alpha so alpha is 2 and beta is 7 okay the characteristic equation of a 3 cross 3 uh, matrix P is defined as this and if I denote the identity matrix then inverse of P is. so it, it is a one of the simplest question using Cali Hamilton theorem I can write P cube plus P square plus 2P plus I is equal to null matrix so we can multiply by P inverse in both sides so I will get P square plus P plus 2I uh, plus P inverse is equal to uh, null matrix so from this we get what we get p inverse is equal to minus p square plus p plus 2i so the correct option will be d so with this this is the last question that question number 50 and uh, it has taken around uh, one hour seven minutes of time uh, but i hope you have followed it uh, in case if you think that i was talking about the concept which you are not aware so you have to watch the videos uh, in the playlist of matrix that I already have uploaded and uh, it has taken a lot of effort uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it so share with everyone and in case if you want me to uh, create videos for linear differential equation also uh, I will certainly create but before that I want this video to reach to the maximum number of people so thanks for watching and have a very great day